Hello, YouTubes. Pat the Sound Guy, back again with a little bit different video. We have a radio here. A ham radio. Or in some places, a GMRS radio. Anyway, this is an Anytone AT779UV. New purchase for me. I've been into radios for quite a while. Many years with the walkie-talkie side of things, programming and, and selling them and working with them and using them on gigs and things like that. But the ham radio thing is a newer thing to me. I don't have my ham license yet, but we do use the UV5R every day to communicate with the repeaters on the campus they work on. So I can talk to the facilities, the custodial, you know, maintenance staff, and all that kind of stuff every day. It's great. Great little tool. So I've had a UV5R for a few months now, and this Anytone is a new purchase. So I've got it here in the bench programming, and I was testing it out a little bit, and I've noticed the problem that is these are notorious known for is this hole is not big enough for the audio to come into the microphone very nice at all. So I just had to do a simple modification. There is other videos how to do this, but I found a very much simpler way to do it. You don't even need power tools. So there's the microphone there. It's got a nice rubber gasket, and that rubber gasket mates up to the back of this hole for the microphone. It's a round hole there. So if you look, that round hole used to have a square hole in the center of it. And the hole for the sound to go through went in this hole and up from that oval. And it was just tiny. It was smaller than a 7 16 of an inch. So all, most, most people just drill them out and they look kind of ugly. But I wanted to look a little more stock. So very simply, all you need is a 7 16 drill bit. You don't even need the drill, no Dremel, no nothing. You just take this drill bit with your fingers, and you very gently, while watching from the other side, you just turn that drill bit with your fingers and push gently, and it'll take that plastic right out little by little until you get to the very front of the hole, and then you get a nice oval shape. And what all you have to do is take your razor knife and gently take away some of those shavings out of the hole. Let me scrape, scrape, scrape a little bit in your there. And voila, no power tools needed, only a screwdriver. And that drill bit and the razor knife. And you almost a stock looking hole. I could probably drill that a little bit further or roll with a little razor bit, but yeah, it looks stock enough for me. And it'll get me started. And if I want to change it a bit later, I can. Anyway, there's the audio mod for the Anytone 7789UV. Very quick and simple with the most basic of tools. Don't even need power tools. And we'll talk a little more about the programming of this guy a little bit later. But anyway, rock on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.